What's up you guys? Thanks for clicking. Um, I just want a disclaimer. I'm not naked in this video at all. My camera is propped up high and I'm short so by the time I tiptoe you can't see nothing but your girl got on clothes. It's just that you know. Alright, now let's get into the video. What's up you guys welcome to my channel my name is Vanessa Elliott if you didn't know and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my self-care or pamper routine I usually do this on a Saturday to end the long busy work week just to relax and unwind and give me some self-love so to start this off I'm gonna get me a tall glass of cold water just to keep myself hydrated throughout the routine and it also adds to your self-care you can have water you can have tea you can have smoothie fruit whatever it's gonna make your pamper routine more luxurious and then I'm gonna make me some salt water for my oral hygiene now I'm not getting in the bath just yet, I'm going to get it started. So I got the water running and I'm going to be using this Rose But Not 242 Lemongrass Body Wash. It is a sample y'all so it's not that much. But for the bubbles, I'm going to be using this body wash that I got from an Airbnb. So the first thing I always do is brush my teeth before heading in the tub to give the water extra time. I don't know, I just always did that, especially on a work morning. Now my gums would always bleed, they would always give me problems. They don't anymore, but my wisdom teeth have been bothering me lately. So when I'm out of peroxide, then I would rinse my mouth out with salt water. I always exfoliate my lips a bit, then follow up with a gloss and I'm using my Flower Girl Cosmetics Gloss. Now honestly, I'm not into flossing, but I do need to start flossing. Other than that, that is basically my oral hygiene. All right, let's hit the tub. Y'all, when I saw this water, I was like, okay, this is a luxury bath now. The body wash turned into this mint blue color. It looks so beautiful. I got my ice cold frozen kiwi and water on the side and I am ready to step in and get this started. What I like to do is catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers and just relax and enjoy my me time alone. Don't think or worry about anything. I just want to enjoy until I am ready to bathe and rinse off. 20 to 30 minutes max that I like to soak in the tub or whenever the bubbles go out. <laughs> Ready. So I'm bathing with my Tone Cocoa Butter Vitamin E Soap Bar along with my exfoliating gloves to cleanse my skin, then rinse off in a cool shower. The next thing I'll be using is my Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. I am in love. You want to know how? Because I am using the very last bit. So I will exfoliate my arms and my feet and I just love the way it makes my feet feel so soft and I know I'm rough but I'm just trying not to fall okay <laughs> now we are on to skincare I will be using my Dove soap bar in pink rose now I'm officially out of my Mary Kay 4-in-1 cleanser and y'all guess what <laughs> the bar is pink I mean I know it was going to be pink but I'm so used to the white dove so I don't know. I was just so nervous because I didn't know if it was dye that made it pink or if it was like the rose that made it pink. Either way, I followed up with my Tone Cocoa Butter Bar just to ease my worries of irritation on my skin. I never actually used the pink bar on my skin. I always use the white one. I did look up to see if it was okay to put it on your face though because I know soap clogs your pores on the whole and it said that Dove is one of the most moisturizing soap bars for sensitive skin all over so I'm happy about that. So right now I'm just patting my face dry and I'm about to go in with my Mary Kay Claire Proof Cleansing Charcoal Mask. 
which provides a deep cleanse for the pores without stripping away moisture and shrinking your pores. Which is probably why the consistency is so thin and it smells like it would give me that tingling feeling in which it did. Facial scrubs and exfoliates is what I normally use, but this is probably my fourth time ever that I've actually used a facial mask and so I'm really enjoying this one. I will have this on for 20 minutes. Well, at least that's what the packaging said. So I will have this on for 20 minutes. If you watch my skincare routine, you would know that I always keep my samples to get the most use out of them as much as I can. So I will see y'all in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm taking my iron pill because I just finished eating dinner for the evening. Okay, so I'm going to remove this face mask with a hot towel. I see a lot of people are recommending this. So I said, let me try it. And I actually really enjoyed it. First of all, who doesn't enjoy a hot towel? Second of all, I feel as if it takes the product off way more easier than just rinsing it off. Now what's bugging me is this period bump. You know that bump that comes out of nowhere? Yeah. I just wanted y'all to know that. But I still rinse my face off with some cool water to make sure that the product is off and minimize my pores. Then I'm going to be going in with my Mary Kay night cream and add that final and extra layer of moisture to my skin. And what you could do is give yourself a facial massage. It feels so good, relaxing, and just removes the tension from around your face. Just a little affordable way to give yourself a facial massage because I know they can be very needed at times, especially when you massage around the temples. And I will follow up with the Mary Kay eye cream, which just helps you to look more awake, even though I'm going to bed. And make sure I massage it in because this is very, very moisturizing. And I actually use this morning and night. I still got my water on deck. This is actually my second glass of water. I don't know about y'all, but my bathroom is get hot quick. My skin is soft, it's plump, it's clean, and it's moisturized. So we're pretty much done with my skin and I'm really in love with my skin. I always loved my facials, girl. Waxing time. <laughs> so I did a video making this wax and last time you couldn't see the hair on my legs then, but now I know you can see it, huh? <laughs> I will have this video in the cards above and in the description box below but in this video I will just be waxing my underarms my legs and I didn't show it in the video but I also did wax my stomach I will say that my hair is coarse and not trained so it is actually pretty painful bearable but painful also, in my recent waxing video, instead of waxing my legs, I did my Brazilian instead. And so after this, I'll be a complete butterball. <laughs>
Now I'm going to use this Flower Girls Cosmetics Body Butter and moisturize my feet because we don't want them ashy. I mentioned if not all then some of these products in my summer hygiene must have video. I absolutely love these products. I love glowing skin. Your skin and your body speaks to you and I try my best to listen so that you can not only look good but feel good and I look and feel so good after this pamper routine and lastly i'm gonna top it off with my mary kay nourishing shea hand cream and white tea and citrus pay attention to them knuckles i scrubbed this stuff before i started my self-care routine i was sweating my hands were crying for relief and i gave it to them and of course can't go to bed without the wedding rings and that's it y'all that was my self-care or pamper routine that i do every saturday whether i do a little more or a little less and at the end i am always feeling refreshed loved moisturized and of course hydrated thank you so much for watching follow your girl on instagram i'm also posting little self-care ig stories please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video and i will see you in the next one